2020 is supposed to be about perfect vision. And here we are in this year. I don't know about you, but it has felt pretty blurry to me. I haven't had that kind of clarity of vision, although it's starting to get a little bit clearer. And when we talk about that vision, it's not so much about getting our eyes checked here, our physical eyes, but it's a check too on that third eye, that eye that Jesus talked about is letting your eye be single so that we can see through the spiritual eye, that we can see a higher ground or a deeper place where that foundation of love is there for us. Most of us, save maybe the infectious disease folks, would not have foreseen a pandemic. And most of us, I'm guessing maybe all of us, wouldn't have imagined that people all around the world in every shade of the rainbow would begin to speak out in unison that black lives do indeed matter. And that is what is happening now. It took 400 year, 401 years for voices, this many voices, enough of a critical mass to begin to shift the tide, to begin to change what, need, what needs to be changed, what has needed to be changed for so long. So when we talked about spiritual awakening happening during this pandemic, would you have ever guessed it would look like this? Nobody knew, right? None of us knew. And yet here we are at the precipice of real spiritual awakening and real societal change, where the values that we say we believe in, the ideals of democracy and the values of spirituality begin to align. You know that pledge that we all take, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, that pledge? It feels a little truer now, a little more possible than it did. Who would have known that yet another black man would have been killed by police and all of this would have happened in response? That a police officer would have kneeled on a man's neck for nine minutes and we were in the middle of a pandemic where we all, weren't all so busy running here and there that we actually stopped and felt and listened and demanded change. We couldn't make this stuff up. <laughs> we couldn't align these things. There's no way we know when something happens and we say, ain't it awful, that we can see the whole picture. And so there is good emerging. There are possibilities emerging from great tragedy.